people, thank you for joining us. If you're new here, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell to get notified when we post a new video. Today, we are not on a road trip, but we have a special guest who will be joining us on the show. So, come along with us, sit, relax, and get ready to be inspired and to learn and to just get a lot of information. Find out who our guest is, stay with us. Thank you for joining us. Today, we are not on a road trip, but today we have a guest on the show. If you're new here, kindly subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Our guest has vast information, inspiration, and a lot to learn from her. Welcome on board. So without wasting much time, I'm going to welcome my guest on set. I will not introduce us, her, but I'll let her introduce herself so that we hear from her and get to know more about her. Hello, my name is Masi Chari and I'm a safari guide. My name is Masi Chari. Uh -huh. I was born and raised in Mombasa. Ah, you're from Mombasa? Yes. Ah, that's nice. No wonder Kiswahili chako kinakonga. It's always there uh, on top. It's a clear Swahili. Nice. Mm. Uh -huh. So I went to school in Mombasa, uh -huh. primary and secondary. Yes. Uh, out of five children i'm the third born yeah, the third born yes okay so you're not like uh, first borns you know they usually say first borns have the they carry the responsibility of the family i was the middle child the middle child yeah. mm -hmm. so you are you are you are spoiled a little bit and, and also responsibilities happen quickly exactly ah that's great mm -hmm. so what did you, you studied in mombasa about yes primary and secondary, and secondary. in mombasa, in mombasa. Mm -hmm. and uh, high school High school, Moi Girls in Mombasa. Mombasa, in Maria nice. What were Moi Girls? This is one of your, is it alumnus? I'm an alumni, <laughs> I'm an aluminium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Okay, then from there. From there we came to Nairobi. Nairobi. Our family moved from Mombasa to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Uh, that is in which year? That was uh, Kitambo. Mm. It's long, eh? It's 1919. 19. 19. Eh. Oh, nice. That then that must be must have been so long. So long. So you moved here permanently, permanently to stay yes. in Nairobi. To stay in Nairobi. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that's when you did I joined uh, college. College. Uh, yes. My mom and dad advised me to to join a, a secretarial mm -hmm. course. Secretarial course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I did. After that, I I was employed as a secretary. Secretary. Mm -hmm. So you are a secretary. Yes. <laughs> uh, talking about that, um, uh, which is your favorite bird? My favorite bird is yes. the. Ooh, so many. You know, birds are beautiful. Yes. You can't. Just pick one. one that. The one that just coming to your mind right now. The lilac breasted roller. Oh, nice. Lilac breasted roller. Which so is. beautiful. Yeah. Many colors. Yes. Yeah. It used to be the national bird of Kenya. Of Kenya. People nice. say it's the national bird of Kenya. You know, I thought you'd say secretary bird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> because you because are. Because I was a secretary. You're a, you are secretary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, how long did you do secretarial work? For like, I can say three years. Three years. Yes. Oh, nice. Is it is it what you studied in college? What I studied in college after uh, finishing after my finishing form, form four. Okay, great. So after that, did you venture directly into the industry, ama or uh, you did another job before entering into the business? Yes, uh, I love animals so much. Uh -huh. So I've always wanted a way where I can work with animals. Yes. So there was a spa that was open. Uh huh. Uh, spa for dogs. Spa for dogs. Yes. Nice. Where? Dog spa in Kitusuru. In Kitusuru. Mm. Okay. So when I had the opportunity, I went for the interview and uh -huh. I was employed. Yeah. There, I was happy because I also love dogs. Yes. So we could wash and blow dry, wow. milk, clipping the dogs, and for me, I was a bit satisfied. So you are very good at taking care of dogs. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say this, but do you know what people say about men? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so man, you have someone who can take very good yes, care. Yeah, they can take good care. Very good care. Let me not uh, <laughs> branch into that topic. But it's really nice that uh, someone can have passion for mm. such uh, animals, such as dogs. They also need care. Like animals need care, just like, uh, like humans. Yeah. yeah, they 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 have uh, also that uh, feeling mm. like they need uh, space. Mm. They need to be clean. They yes. need and a good environment for them to to, to live and thrive. Yes. Uh, that's great. Mm. So you did that for how long? I did the dog grooming for two years. Nice, two mm. years. Okay. Then after dog grooming. Then after that, yes. uh, I'm a person who, when I'm home yes. watching TV, yes. you'll always find me watching National Geographic. Okay. So you love animal documentaries. Animal documentaries, yes. nature. Uh -huh. I can spend the whole day watching animal documentaries. Wow. So I felt the urge of like, what can I do so that I can go out there in the wild yes. and um, see wild animals. So I would like save money. Yes and take myself for holidays with my family yeah and then um, my money will get finished <laughs> so <laughs> they say traveling is expensive is it Travel. expensive is it is it expensive mm, yeah it is it traveling is. is expensive i think that's why many kenyans don't travel don't travel mm, okay because yeah. it's expensive yes but if you have the passion then you you you, are, you can easily use money to something you love. Yeah? Exactly. Just mm. like people who love uh, partying, they 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 are okay spending yeah, their uh, money on partying. Their money on partying. Yeah. So if you love traveling, then you you will just be fine. You you won't feel a pinch exactly. when you use your money on yeah. on, uh, on traveling. On traveling. Yeah. So so we say so this passion of traveling it was uh, natural at that point at that point at that point yeah. from mm. uh, watching natural geographic, geographic and uh, then traveling then traveling yes and then it came to a point where my husband uh, will not finance my traveling travel. because he was okay. like we better do this to the kids instead yes. of you traveling All right. so i recruited my sisters yes i have two sisters yes so we started traveling we started at traveling. least three times in a year yes. mm. and that that's something you've mentioned which is very important uh, Coming together, like finding people, like-minded people mm. with the same intentions and, mm. and uh, like um, ambitions exactly. and passion. So you come together, and I believe now it was a bit cheaper mm -hmm. when you join join the the, exactly. the, the, the yeah. Mm. yeah. So that's how it also works. If you want to travel and you feel it's expensive, there are lots of group trips, like every weekend happening in Kenya. You can just join a group, and you pay less. A trip that you would pay maybe. 50k if you are alone maybe to Masai Mara you would pay around uh, 15 it. or 13,000 yes yeah mm. so that's the way to go you love traveling you need to do something about it yeah mm. so you got the passion and started traveling so at what point exactly did you now get employed as a driver guy so now my sister has moved uh-huh uh, -huh. uh there's, a, there's one who is in America uh -huh. working wow. and another one in, in Nakuru. Nakuru. So yeah. I was left alone. Yes. I don't have a traveling buddy anymore. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the buddies are gone. My buddies are buddies gone. Are gone. Oh, wow. So yes. I, I was like, what am I going to do so that I continue traveling? So yes. I thought about the guiding now. Nice. Uh -huh. And I needed someone to advise me about the, the career. The career, yeah. So there's this place mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Yes. Uh, City market. City market, yeah. yeah. They are usually uh, safari, safari cruisers over cruisers, there. Yes. So I went there mm -hmm. and asked those guys, uh, "Hi, how can I start uh, this job you are doing?" Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Who who wants to do that? <laughs> <laughs> me. I want to start." <laughs> they didn't believe you. They, they didn't were believe like... me. They were like, "Ah, come on, be serious. <laughs> are you the, Are you asking for yourself or your brother? Yeah." <laughs> I'm like, no, me, I'm the one who wants to do this job, to drive, a to cruiser, drive. to Mara, yes, me. <laughs> one of them took my hands, uh -huh. ooh, she has manicure, and like, <laughs> you can't even change a tire with, with, manicure, with manicure and all the, the <laughs> yes. nails, mm. wow. So I felt, they, like, they told, like, basically that day they told me, I'm um, sorry, it's not, it's not, it's not, not fit for, for women, wow. One of them even told me to change a cruiser change because, a cruiser. yeah, right there, was, so that right they, they, there, like you want this job, yeah, change that this. tire. Wow. And I was like, I can't even change my own bits. 
<laughs> so you are daring Ooh, yeah. you are you are that daring exactly but i think it's, it's something very important to to dare like mm. to take the risk mm, take because the risk. um they say that you do not know how it is until you try until, until you, try. you step into the darkness yeah. then you see the light at the end mm-hmm. of the tunnel exactly yeah. you now um what happened next after they asked you to change a tire did you change it so i rem- no i didn't change didn't. the tire i got okay. scared because they basically told me you can just go work in the office on the office yes and be comfortable be comfortable there, there. but right. i remember there was this one gentleman who was not talking just uh-huh. listening just listening listening and listening and i was like why is this guy not like like the rest laughing yeah, yeah like the rest yes so anyway i went home and after Three days, I remember I went back uh-huh. to go and buy uh, fish in that yeah. marketplace. Yeah. So when I was going back, I didn't want these guys to see to me see. because the cruisers are still there. Yes. So I entered city market hiding myself, and then I bought my samakis, my fish. Yes. So when I was coming back, a guy who was quiet yeah. remembered me, mm-hmm. and he called me and was like, "Just come and say hi. Don't be scared of us." So I went. I said, "Hi, hi, mm-hmm. how are you?" And then he he asked me something. Let me ask you, why do you want to do this job? Mm-hmm. And I told him, the passion the is passion. burning. Passion like, is burning. I need to go out there wow. and see the animals. I love nature. I love driving. Mm-hmm. And he told me, you know what? Mm-hmm. You have answered the correct answer. Exactly. Mm. Because wow. he told me many people will say, ah, I just want a job so that I can, make, can money. make money. Exactly. Yeah. So many people feel like uh, jobs are just about making money yeah but mm. there's more to it there's if you're making money and you're not mm. you're not healthy you're, you're not, not happy. happy you're not okay mentally exactly then it's not worth it it's not worth it wow mm. so um that's something that i also relate to so much mm. like running our company mm. uh, it's about passion passion is the main it's drive everything is the main drive mm. so if you if you're watching us right there and you have a passion for something that should be the number one drive. It should exactly. not be uh, capital yeah. or to get money to move out into another house. Invest in your passion and uh, you will pole, always pole. be happy. You will You'll wake up in happy. the morning like you're Ready looking. To go. Like for me, I always look forward for the next safari. Nice. Where am I going? You're going to Amboseli. Ah, I'm so happy. Ready. I'm yeah. ready. Your game. I'm going like, there let's to Amboseli. Go. Let's go see the elephants. Nice. Mm. That's great. And um, now, after that, did you now start job hunting or did you start doing game drives immediately? Like, no. So after uh, that, immediately the gentleman mm-hmm. uh, advised me to go to, to a course in Italy. Yes. Uh-huh. A short course that yes. I did in yes. Italy. Yes. And then after that, I got my certificate nice. and I got all the license. Mm-hmm. And then now I started the job you hunting. started the job. Yes. Okay. So... You did a course in Italy that uh, to a guide for to, to a, a guiding. guiding. Yes, ah, that's great. Mm. So, so you also have some background knowledge of, of, of what you guiding, do. Guiding, yes. Yeah, mm, I do. How is how is that important for you right now as a as a driver guide? Uh, I didn't know much about birds yes. before I went to to the school. to the college. Yes. I just knew going to the park, just put the lions, uh-huh, and that's it. And that's it. But, <laughs> but when I went to college, to college, I learned about birds. Yes. And I, birds are beautiful. Mm-hmm. So at the moment, I can like tell you at least more than fifty, more than 50 species, species of birds. Wow, yes. that's mm-hmm. good. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think it's also important uh, today in our society. We have people who venture. Yes, you have the passion. Mm-hmm. You enter into the business, but or into the hustle or the job, but you lack a bit of some, just a little bit of knowledge, exactly. some background knowledge, mm, yeah. which comes in very handy. Very handy. Very handy. Mm. So there, there are skill streets, mm-hmm. streets that you can uh, learn from the streets, mm, yes. but you also need to have some book skills. Exactly. At least, they at are least very Kidogo. Mm, yes. People don't know that. Yeah, but that that also stands out. It makes you stand out. It makes you more Thank knowledgeable you. Yes. and also and confidence. Confidence, mm. yeah, because you're sure of what you're saying. Yes. And also today we have uh, online platforms where people can learn. Mm. If you can't go to college, you can just you can Google learn online. and learn. Mm. Yeah, that's great. So, 
that is the that is uh, what makes you stand out yeah, yeah that's great yeah. so now you you got the the certificate yes then so i decided to go for job hunting job hunting and the first place i went was somak uh huh and uh, at first they were hesitant like mm. a lady driver guide you can drive our guests to mara i was like yeah i'm a good driver mm-hmm. i'll drive them to mara but the only thing with them was like uh, where are you going to sleep, going to sleep? Mm. yeah because most hotels accommodation yeah for, for female for guides female guides yeah nice. well that's a challenge yeah? that's a challenge that's a it challenge. is mm. Mm. one of the challenges that i face is yeah. accommodation, accommodation for female guides and uh, so did they after that i went now straight to bigfoot bigfoot i yeah. went to bigfoot mm-hmm. adventures mm-hmm. and when the ceo had it's a female guide, guide. he was like i want to see her. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise was like a surprise. are you guys see? serious yeah i want to see I her want to see her so he we, he booked me a interview yes we came to the nairobi national park yes with a van yes. i drove him from nairobi town to Nairobi, Nairobi National, National Park. Park. Yes. Wow, what an interview. Mm. So, so, but instead of going to Nairobi National Park, Ungeenda, if you went to maybe museum or somewhere else, oh, you would have yeah. failed the <laughs> exam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is nice. Yeah, yes. So after the 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 drive into the park, yes. What was his reaction when uh, he saw it? how I? I had knowledge. Yeah. I have the knowledge yes. of the birds yes. and the animals and he was impressed. Wow. Mm. That's great. And after That's the interview, he told me here is the key. Here is the key. This That's is your, your van. vehicle. Wow. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. So guys, that is an amazing story of how our guest today, Masichari, got into the industry. So guys, this is uh, the amazing story of our guide Masichari here and she got the key to her van from Bigfoot Adventures so that is a big win for the <laughs> for the world because yeah. we now have a female driver guide in Nairobi which I've never seen any if you've seen any please tag them along in this or comment to their name we'll look for them and also feature them so Let's see what Bigfoot offers in their vehicles. So now you have been handed the key to your van. Yes. How how was the feeling? I was so excited. Uh-huh. I went home. Uh-huh. Uh, my husband could not believe. Like you've been given a big van. Yeah. <laughs> Did you sleep that night? <laughs> <laughs> no, or no, the no, excitement no. was too much. No. It was too much. Uh-huh. I thought I was dreaming. Wow. Mm. But then your dream had finally come, come true. Come true. Yeah. That's mm. good. And. Thank you so much Bigfoot for introducing Masi to the industry. He played a very important role yeah. in the society. Yeah. So, how was the reaction of uh, maybe your relatives, your parents, your siblings, your friends, the colleagues at work? How did they take it that now so, 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 so now you are now driving. <laughs> You're a driver. <laughs> What's up? Are you okay? First, what was their uh, reaction my dad yes my dad is a, a family man family man yeah so he at first he yes. wasn't very supportive mm-hmm. he was like now you have kids a <laughs> husband how are you going to balance in traveling living your family yes and and work and work yeah uh-huh. so he wasn't like very much okay, okay yeah. but after i started working he saw how how happy i was yes. very happy yes and when I could get tips, yes. oh, this, this job has good tips. Good tips. So I bought him Tasca, Tasca, uh-huh. and <laughs> <laughs> he forgot about <laughs> that. Uh, wow. Am I even allowed to say Tasca? It's allowed. It's allowed. It's allowed. It's fine. 
so, so he saw he saw like he saw the importance of the importance of it, of it. Yes. and also the most important thing is that you were happy i was happy yes yeah, yeah. so he noticed how happy i was mm-hmm. and yeah the fact that sometimes yeah i will travel like for more than six days yes and he'll be like oh, when are you going back home when are you going back home wow. but at nowadays he's used to he's it, used to it mm-hmm. yeah because it's part of the, 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 of the, the, job. the job yeah and uh how, how about the rest of the family the rest of the family are okay yeah, are very, my mom okay. is very supportive, very supportive. Mm. great so what would you what would you advise parents with kids mm-hmm. you you want your kid to be a doctor but then your kids say no mom me me i want to be a graphics designer yes. or i want to be a to be a maybe a driver guide yeah. what would you advise them I'll advise them to yes. let their children choose what they what want they to want. do. Yes. Because at first, when I remember when I finished my Form 4, yes. I wanted to go to Tamil and do a course. But yes. my, my dad has been in the uh, in this industry yes. for... For long. The industry. travel industry. No. My, okay, my dad has been on the hospitality, hospitality. industry. Yes, yes. He's worked in hotels, so oh. he didn't want any of his kids to be in the same to industry. be in the same industry, especially us, uh, his daughters. Girls, yeah. But all of us, I will tell you, we ended up there. Yeah. <laughs> destiny. It's called destiny. <laughs> <laughs> you know those pastors usually say, "When destiny, yeah, <laughs> what destiny is upon you." So that yeah, was like we both the destiny. Ended up with the hospitality industry wow. even my brothers wow. mm. and that's good so parents out there you've had let your kids do what they want they also have their passions yes their aspirations. aspirations so it's good it's good that the rest of the family also supported you and right now everyone mm. supports you actually my brother that now wants to wants wants to, to to join to join wow. my brother wants to join great mm. and um how about your your family now, like your husband, and uh, maybe you can tell us if you have a child. Yes, uh-huh. I have two kids. Two kids, nice. a son, uh-huh. eleven years 11. old, and my daughter who is four years four. old. Wow. Yes. How did they take it? Uh, my son was okay. Mm-hmm. I I think because he's already old. Yes. But for my daughter, I felt you're going to be leaving her. Yeah. Uh, for her, I felt it. You felt it. Mm-hmm. But uh, right now, as she grows, you also get to find ways of, of, of time to bond of with time her. Time to bond with her, yeah. When I'm free, I make sure that I spend a lot of time with my kids and wow. my husband. That's great. Mm-hmm. And your husband is, is very My husband is very supportive because uh-huh. he knows how I, I love what I'm doing. Yes. And that is a very important point because uh, maybe sometimes you find the people um, they're maybe in a relationship mm-hmm. and it's like there are some things you can't do. Yeah, yeah exactly. Those two barriers that are put. I know. I've had men who have yes. told me they will not allow their, their wives to do, that. to do this job. Yes. Wow. Mm. And so it limits, it limits them. It limits them, exactly. Yeah. Mm. And I feel nobody should be limited. Yeah. Because you can imagine, as in, maybe this woman wants to do this job. Yes. So she will never be happy. She will never be cause happy. Because she, because yes. the husband does not allow, you know. Men so, out there, I hope mm. you're listening. Just yeah. let your wife do what they love. What they love. Mm. Yes. And you will be happy. You My husband happy. is so, so happy, happy right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, <laughs> it's important because also apart from them being with your partners, they also have their lives. Exactly. Yeah, Thank you. Their lives mm. Mm. That's great. And now, starting the job, how was your first job? So the my first, first job. game drive you mm-hmm. did, how was it? I, I remember I was told Masaimara was so big, yes. I will never like know the, no, the, roots, the roots inside. Yes. But I was like, you guys, I'm a woman. <laughs> women, we don't get lost. And women don't forget. <laughs> women don't forget. <laughs> I'll leave you here, uh-huh. you as a man, you'll forget you came from you came there. From you start there. coming from, from the other, other side, side. <laughs> uh, nice. so yeah masaimara i'm happy that i'm knowing the roots, the roots. i uh, i've never gotten lost wow. yes and so, uh, you've also you work with others also in the, in the company yes they are yes. uh, they're supportive of, of what you do one thing yes. that i'm so happy about is the way 
uh, my colleagues yes and other um, other my other colleagues, colleagues yeah, yeah. my colleagues yeah. support yeah. me yeah like when they notice i'm in maybe say i'm in masai mara yeah. and i'm stuck yeah. uh, they will leave what they were doing they and leave it. come and pull come me and out. Pull you out yes wow that is great 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 teamwork and also I know now when you when you're on doing a game drive and guests see you and yes. they get that excitement mm-hmm. and uh, they want to like uh, have a chat with you or or even they, they feel like uh, something abnormal mm-hmm. to see a, a lady driver guy. Yes. So how does that make you feel? <laughs> how does that make you feel? Do you feel like oh wow, yeah, the noticing. <laughs> um, um, you appreciate how I, does it make I, you? I'm, I'm a shy person yes so uh, sometimes i feel like uh, yeah. <laughs> but you have great confidence but, yes yeah okay. yeah you have great nice. confidence yeah, so i um, i really appreciate it appreciate it yeah so next time you're in a, you're doing a game drive and you see um Marcy here just say hi and she's a nice person she will say hi back <laughs> and maybe give you a selfie Yes, completely. Yeah. Okay, so tell us what are some of the challenges you face in this in, the, in the industry, yeah. So first, mm-hmm. um, the first challenge I face is yeah. the as I told you the accommodation. Accommodation for driver guides uh, yes. that are women. Yes. They don't most of the camps don't have they accommodation. Don't have accommodation. Yes. Mm-hmm. So basically most of the time I sleep in uh, managers quarters. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are better than they are the better drivers. Than the quarters. drivers I, I know, I know. <laughs> and uh-huh. sometimes when I visit Salt Lake, yeah. the Salt Lake. Yes, I know. Um, even the, the guests. The guests. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're so lucky. Yes. Ooh, that's I'm given the guest so, yeah. That's very nice. That, at least at least at least even though they are not uh, available rooms for Female guides. Yeah. Something is done. Something is done yes. immediately. Immediately. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you're like a great. Yes. You can <laughs> say that. That is awesome. <laughs> and uh, other challenges apart from that. Uh, the other challenge is, of course, I miss my family uh-huh. so much because when I when I travel. Spend, you don't spend much time. Yes. Uh, with with them. Mm-hmm. But when you come back, you find time. I find time for them. I compensate. I make sure yes. that I compensate the time for yes. family. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Another one, maybe. Another one. Okay, I've never had any mechanical issues, mm-hmm. like the changing of tires. Yes. But I you, do practice, practice to make sure, to in make case sure. of anything, yeah, I'm um, I'm ready to do it. So you've been you've been uh, working for how long or employed for how long? It's been two years two now. Two years now. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So every day you learn. I learn. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is great. And uh, maybe what would you advise mm-hmm. to someone who wants to join this industry? Maybe just anyone, maybe the ladies or, or even men, anyone who wants to join to be a driver guide. What would you tell them? Like, I would say for ladies, yes. just make sure that you're a good driver. For me, I love driving. Yes. Driving, like, it's my, it's, I love driving so much ladies are scared to join the industry because there's that notion of women don't know how to don't drive. know how to drive yeah yeah because uh for the first time when i when i will pick clients mm-hmm. they'll be like oh my god it's a it's a woman yeah no. are we going to be safe <laughs> and oh, after driving them for like 30 minutes then they are fine they are fine they even see, sleep yeah? they even sleep yes, and if yeah. you see uh your guests sleeping and you're driving they trust yeah, they you trust you mm-hmm. yeah so you get other challenges like from the society like how people view you like as a driver guide or or you don't get such i do yes i do get like most of the people are impressed very yes. impressed to see me driving they're like wow who you this woman other people will even like i've had a, a boda boda guy yes. who saw me in traffic yeah. and he akata boda boda came in like men <laughs> Continue. Continue. Mm. Oh, wow. You're doing good. a good job. That's, yeah. That's good. So tell us, what what are your hobbies? Yes. Uh, apart from what I'm doing. Yes. Uh, I love cooking. Love cooking. Uh, being raised in Mombasa, mm-hmm. and you know, women in Mombasa, we love cooking. Yeah. 
and also as i said earlier about the dogs dog grooming yes, yes. i still do it part time especially when corona hit our industry yes. that's what i survived with dog grooming so you still do it as a part time at a part time yes wow that's good and uh, now uh, which is your favorite you say you love cooking what's mm-hmm. your favorite meal biryani biryani mm-hmm. biryani yes biryani kwa kuku <laughs> ama kuna biryani ya kuku, yeah, kuku. this biryani ya ya mutton yes so which one ama just I anything both of, yeah wow that's good which is your favorite pack it's <laughs> a hard we question we have like 20 is it 26 26 mm. packs in kenya that's a hard question because uh-huh. every pack is unique every pack is unique mm. like, like samburu yeah. you'll find the special five the special five uh-huh. yes so every pack has its own it's unique, unique. Yes. in amboseli elephants i love elephants yes. you go there you spend time with elephants yeah. when you go to masai mara the big five mm-hmm. you see yeah so, so every every pack every pack has its unique. own special yes. yeah great so what would you tell the kenyans who will maybe want to, to travel you know you you there you've gone you've seen what can you tell them because some 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 of us like we we want to but we don't have maybe the we feel like the, it's not meant for us or uh, uh, we give it dali what would you tell them i want tell to kenyans that kenya is beautiful it's beautiful very beautiful like tourists will come from other countries yes come and see what we have and there will be some even want to to live here mm, yeah Kenya is beautiful. I will ask Kenyans mm-hmm. to save even if it's once a year. Yes. To tour our lovely, our country. lovely country. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And uh, that is also very important because if we don't see what is around us, then who is mm-hmm. going to do exactly. it? Like right now, hotels and um, lodges and parks have great, great discounts because of COVID. So that's a great opportunity for you to pack that bag and go on a safari yeah so now i have a very tricky question for you so if you are offered mm-hmm. another job that probably pays more and uh, is more lucrative let's say for example uh, if you're given a job that pays you triple of what you're earning right now and it's more luxurious like you have packs there is a vehicle for you you're given a house would you take it and it's not about like touring kenya let's say it's um, uh, uh, not about traveling it's i'm a about being a driver guy being a... no i have been offered that yes i i know what it like people are not happy out there because uh-huh. they are doing jobs just to get money to get money and they are not happy they are not happy wow now that that comes back to what you said before passion, passion. having the passion so yeah, you have the passion to people should it. should do uh, work that is their it's, passion is making them happy, making them happy. Okay. there's nothing and you'll get money out of it anyway yes, yes. and there's nothing good like being satisfied yeah and uh, tell us which is your dream destination <laughs> well so many but uh-huh. if i get an Top opportunity three. To go to South Africa. South Africa. I've heard about this Kruger Park. Kruger National Park. Park yes. Uh-huh. And where else? Maldives. 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 All right. <laughs> um, and where else? In the world. Uh, Another one. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> okay. In Kenya, which is your favorite? In Kenya. Am I your dream destination where you've never been to? And you do always want to go to. Someone there might might decide. Let me bless Mercy with this trip. <laughs> Where can I go in Kenya? Uh-huh. Mm. That's a hard question. Kenya mm-hmm. is beautiful. Mm. I've never been to Meru. Meru. Meru National Park. Yeah, nice. But I don't know. It has very nice destinations. Uh-huh. Yes, hotels. Yeah, I've never been there. We have I guess it's Kopje. because of Corona. We have yeah, the Rhino exactly. River exactly. Watch. You've been there. Yes. You've been there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there hypothetically. Yeah, yeah. I've been there through videos what? and photos. 
Are you serious? You know, you know the way mm -hmm. nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, you see a lot of photos of a place until you feel like you've been there. Yes, like these people exactly. who love watching Nigerian movies, <laughs> there's someone right now, if you drop them in Nigeria, Adel. they know where Enugu <laughs> State is. <laughs> they know they know where i don't know what those names mm. funny funny places yes yeah but um meru is a nice destination i've not been there also but i you've never been there <laughs> <laughs> i've not been to you've meru been there through it's photos through photos yeah, yeah so nice. I, but i know i'm going to be there very soon me going too to i want to go a, there a track party I to see. meru and sakol kopji kopji yes and then rhino river watch those are like mm. two of the places i've been and then uh, now that uh, you you have uh, ventured into the business, how do you where do you see yourself like in the next in the next few years? What do you, what, where do you see yourself? Well, in the next few years, yes, I I pray that God will bless me to open a a tour company where I can empower other women. Yes, yes, so that they can do what I'm doing. It's something do it. that women can do. Can Just do confidence. It. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's great. So uh, you've heard it yourself from the horse's mouth, Master Chari. It has been a great pleasure hosting you. Thank you. You have inspired. I know a lot of people have been inspired to join the industry, to start even a business or even to start working in jobs that yes. I believe that are set aside for men exactly. or that women cannot do. What so a man can do. A woman can do. Thank you. So we really appreciate uh, we appreciate you for that mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully um, maybe some of these people who are watching will join you in a safari very soon yes. so where do they find you uh, they'll find me uh, in I work with Bigfoot company uh -huh. and so our company has a website where yes. you can get us www.bigfootadventures.com mm -hmm. Okay, are you on social media? I am. Yes. You can find me on Instagram, yeah. Masichari. Masichari. Yes, and Facebook, the same name, Masichari. Masichari. And TikTok. TikTok, <laughs> Masichari. <laughs> nice. So for those who are on the socials, link up with Masichari, uh, follow her post, see where she is at, which park she's driving at, and uh, you get to see the other side of her work. So today we were with her at Nairobi National Park, and we got an amazing time together doing our game drive which uh, I will show you or it will be running. Kujatena? 
ngoja asante kwa ujumbe mwanzangu ni nani So on my left is a Maasai giraffe. In Kenya we have three types of giraffes. There's the Maasai giraffe, the reticulated and Rothschild. Great. What's the difference between the, the, the three? I'm a noticeable differences. I it's the pattern on their skin. In different patterns. Me, I'm not going to tell you that your Maasai giraffe has like a flowery skin. No. Only Maasai giraffe has got an irregular pattern. Adoo. Kuna unge liko na skiati Maasai giraffe speaks Maasai. Adoo. Why are you funny? Thank you. 
So that has been our amazing time here at Nairobi Safari Walk. Sometimes you just want a place with their nature, which is cool, trees, shades, animals, and lots of other activities to do like going to the animal orphanage or to the national park itself but safari walk stands out because you walk within nature you walk in the middle of trees and all that maybe it's somewhere you should consider coming to when you're free so thank you for joining us until next time adios